Hey everybody, welcome to Northern Lion Plays Oxygen Not Included, where we are at the uh, starting screen. Because I was looking at our old colony, and I really genuinely am proud of how it went. I think that was the longest colony we've ever had survive, and it wasn't even close to death, but death was on the horizon. It was like death, we had like a, a terminal infestation in our colony. It was going to kill us, maybe not in 10 cycles, maybe not in 20 cycles, but... We had an expiration date, so I figured, why don't we take the knowledge that we've learned and do a little Season 2, Oxygen Not Included, New Game, Standard Game, Start Game. And we've learned quite a lot. First off, I think I'm... It's a lot easier to be decent at the first couple of cycles, first few cycles of playing Oxygen Not Included. Many things that we've learned, um... Higher ceilings is a big one, so that we can actually put art in rooms. Uh, stick to three duplicates for the time being. And... Slime produces germs. Please do not pull up your shirt. You're not pulling up your shirt, you're just breathing. Are you breathing so deeply? Um... What is gastrophobia? Cannot cook. What happens when you fart? Does it make people upset? I think you're gonna get shuffled, my friend. Bottomless stomach. Eats extra. That might be a bad thing, but they're also really fast. Yeah, let's stick with them. That's fine. Um, and small bladder. You gotta you gotta pee a little bit more frequently. I think this is fine. High learning, strength, c creativity, decent immunity, buff. Obviously, this is uh, J Smith OTI. You know what? We're nearly thirty dang years old. Bottomless stomach, twinkle toes. To thine own self be true. Small bladder. Sorry to do it to you. Name your colony Acropolis. Sure, sounds good to me. Alright. So, I actually, like, am immediately overwhelmed by what we've got going on here. I didn't realize how much space we had taken up on our previous colony. And I know that in the last episode I had said, um... You know, you gotta do the hard stuff so that when the hard stuff happens, you practiced for it. I think we did do a decent job of doing that, to be honest with you. So I'm I'm fairly not upset. What we need is to start with here. We have, we have no mining, that's right. To start with here, um I think we should mine out a decent amount of space. And we're going to essentially use that for sandstone, and then we're going to build bathrooms. Bathrooms are of the utmost importance. And I'm going to try to design my base in a in a more productive way. Did we hit a, an alien already? We did hit an alien already. Okay. That was surprisingly fast. Um, we're not going to have medicine forever, so it's going to take uh, 8 million years for all of our units to um, be fully healed if they're hurt. She's probably coming back, though. Immune systems are fine, stress is fine. And then let's see, maybe Kate will do a build order. So, um, we definitely want this water. I think the way that we want to set up our base is we probably want to have like one ladder that comes straight down. And then build off to the sides. We can always tile this off and use this as a floor. Tile it off like right here. Um, we're going to need the water anyway. So let's build straight down. These will be priority nines. And even, like, building a ladder that long might seem a little bit unnecessary, but I do think that it's, uh, it's important. You know, because we want our base to have as much space as is, uh, as is plausible. They're so bad at building. Well, some of them are so bad at building, let's put it that way. Are we conceivably gonna have any chance to, uh... To have a bathroom done today? I think it's plausible. In the first couple of days, we don't have to worry about power at all, which is actually really nice. Kate just does not dig, huh? Um, well, if she doesn't dig, and she doesn't build, what does she do? Oh, she is. She's, a, she's actually good at digging. There's just not enough uh, tile. She can sweep. Yeah, that's fine. Um... That came across sounding a little bit chauvinistic wasn't my intention. There we go. She's building. She's good. Um, Alright, so if we're planning for a bathroom... To me, it seems to make the most sense to put our bathroom as close as possible to our water supply. 
So I think that um, at a priority nine, we want to dig out four tiles up. The idea being that uh, we could put art in our bathroom if necessary. We probably want it to actually be even a little bit wider. I don't know if they're going to be able to reach it, but... Um, because we want to, you know, if we could put art in here, that would be great. But some things are tall to begin with. We also want to put a wash basin in here. It would be nice. Um, and in the meantime, let's start thinking about... There's a lot of carbon dioxide up there, which I'm not a huge fan of. Um, let's start thinking about what we're going to do for uh, bedrooms. Because that's going to be our secondary priority here. Do we have any... No, you, we have to research oxygen generation. We have oxalite, so I'm hoping that it's... Uh, you know, that's going to do something for us. With respect to keeping our colonists able to breathe. We'll see, though. Skill increasing. I do like to see that. So if we look at our plumbing, we definitely want a pitcher pump. So we're going to probably, like, tile this off, build over here, build a pitcher pump right here. Um, so an outhouse would be like... We want it to be as close to the wall as possible. So that we can put a wash basin right next to it, I think. This is a much better and also larger bathroom than we had before. So, I think that that is a, that's a good first step for us. I think we should also accept that probably for tonight... I, I deliberately didn't take anybody who was a loud sleeper. So, I think for tonight, we'll try to rock like... A barracks sort of setup. Um... Just so we got some place to sleep. And actually, I did get comments from people that were like, you should actually just use one big bedroom in general, because it's not RimWorld. They don't actually care about having privacy. So one big bedroom with a lot of cots in it is much easier to um, sort of conceive of, I suppose, than... Is tile our number one priority right now? It's pretty fast to build. Ah, but if we crack into this, it's going to flood our base. Let's start by actually working, uh, worrying, I should say, about water. Because that's going to be something we're going to need. So I think we want to tile, like, all this. And we could even... Like, I'm thinking ladder, ladder. And then tile, tile, tile. And then we should be able to bust through this wall without flooding our bathroom, which is pretty important. Um, and we'll even have an extra space here for probably nothing, but maybe an algae terrarium or something. And then, a pitcher pump, like right there. Again, at a priority nine. I don't think we need to assign our beds here. I think that the beds will just, uh, they'll, they'll be naturally filled. We probably do need to build another storage compactor. Let's say that that's a priority eight for now, and we'll just put it right here. And then at like a priority seven... Tile this off. We don't have the ability to build uh, airlocks yet. We can build... Oh, no, no. We can't build doors because we need copper. But we'd probably rather our bathroom be airlocked just because there is going to be maybe polluted oxygen. I can tell you right now we don't want this to be here because we'd probably rather have a deodorizer there. And that's the benefit of uh, of uh, foresight, essentially, having, having a little bit of extra experience in the game. So in order to do this, we're going to need to dig across at a priority nine... It's definitely not going to get done tonight. And I think that that's okay. You're not wrong. The colony does require a food source. We could put a kitchen maybe just above the bathroom. Again, you're going to need to build out a, a much taller ceiling there. But it, it is what it is. Did I? Yeah, this store is all. Okay. Okay. Um, and again, these, these are going to be fine. We don't have any research done yet. Day day one, day two, day three, you know, you're just sort of... You're getting yourself set up here. It's going to take a while. Just get the definitive resources that you need. We actually have nothing for food. Literally, all we can do is make, uh, is make mush loaf, so... But we got 24,000 kilocalories for, uh, three duplicates, which is an awful lot of time left for us to get stuff done here. Without having to immediately worry about food. One person, and this is the downside, I suppose, of having three duplicates. But one, one person is probably going to be, like, almost exclusively focused on just producing food on a daily basis. But, I mean, considering you need food to eat, that kind of seems like a bargain. Almost. Alright. 
So again, you're about to go to sleep. And man, I had not remembered that these guys are just really slow the first couple of the first little way through here. Cycle one report is ready. We lost 70 kilos of oxygen. That's really bad. Everything else I think is fine. Let's quickly check, like, obviously power overlay's got nothing. Oxygen overlay is fine for now, but will get bad. Barely breathable. Um, thermal comfort should be okay. Germs? No germs whatsoever yet. Alright. So far, so good. So get the pitcher pump going here. That's done. Now, the, you are going to have soggy feet. But again, I think it's kind of a necessary... A necessary evil is not even the right word. It's just necessary to begin with. And then you should be able to dig this out. Okay, so we have insufficient oxygen generation. And... Get out of here. Get out, I don't need your messages. I got YouTube comments. We need food. So if we're going to say that this is going to be our kitchen... We do have to mine out a little bit more. Again, we, the other thing that people suggested is you should actually, and I think this is too advanced for me, or, or too, um, difficult's not really the word I'm looking for. It's more like just too, uh, finicky. They said you should really have a space between your tiles that you can run heavy wires through. It, almost as if you were building, like, a... a a two-sided wall that was hollow on the inside and you could run wires and I guess plumbing if you wanted to um, through it. We're not gonna do that but I add that with the caveat that it might be the right thing to do. So oxygen and food are gonna be our priorities on day two. Still got 22,000 calories and a little bit extra. So we do need to build... Wait, does a microbe musher... It requires power, right? So we actually probably should get some research done. I'm trying to keep the base reasonably clean as well. Um, you're not idle. You're just presently doing nothing, I think. So if we're gonna try to keep the base relatively clean... One, two, three... Um, again, we'd probably rather have four tile high. But it's annoying because the duplicates only uh, dig up to two tiles on top of the tile they're standing on, I think. So let's mine ourselves out a little research area. I do want to crack into this area. But I want to uh, not put ourselves in a situation right now where we'd be in a tough spot. And we would be in a tough spot because we're adding, you know, like a kilogram of carbon dioxide, maybe. Maybe it's not that relevant, maybe it is. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Now we can build stuff. Okay, so we actually just literally had no metal. That explains it. So we can build a microbe musher. It does require power, though. We can build... Okay, so we did... Right. Generator. That's what we need. Um, so again, do me a favor and... Sweep all this up. Fleeing again? How many hatches are here, dude? I know that it's bad form to kill every hatch. But you gotta... Bear with me, because the other thing is, you can't hug every cat. So I think it makes more sense. Uh, well, let's think about it this way. Does water need to be close to power? Oftentimes, in a, a large apartment building, they probably would be. But in our present situation, I don't think that's necessary. So let's make this our power area, uh, for at least for our first little setup. So it would be a manual generator. Well, we should honestly tile it up at a priority nine first. And I think I'm just not going to build doors yet. Do me a favor. At a, at a priority 9, can you dig a hole through the sandstone here? Obviously on the ladder you can, but... Just give him a minute. I'll be more worried about oxygen, food, or power. I think we want power, because power stops us from getting food, right now at least. It's mission critical. Thank you for tiling that up immediately. Um, and then we'll worry about oxygen tomorrow. We're still... It, the top of our base is inhabitable. You can build up there. Okay. 
Or you can dig up there. Can you tile it? That's the real question. But maybe we can worry about that at a later day. We could build like some scaffolding or something. High ceilings seems like a smart decision. So I think we'll put you all the way back here. And then we'll have a tiny battery. Maybe even two tiny batteries. And then some wires. And again, these should be a priority nine. And then over here, we might be getting a little bit unnecessarily cute with this, but dig this out, put a micro musher, and all of a sudden we got a power room, we got a kitchen. It, the kitchen, I'm, I'm skeptical that it would be finished today, but we'll see. We only have one seed as well. Like, we'll probably try to get our agriculture set up as soon as possible. Okay, so this is already done. Um, the micro musher, does it require water? It requires power, of course. Well, we're going to build it at a priority 9. It's really tall to begin with. Let's just put it here, because we'll probably tile this off later. It does require us to build a little bit more uh, wiring, but I think that's relatively fine. We want it to be close to the water, because mush bars do require 75 kilos of water. All right. Smarter idea than I would have thought. I'm going to eat the decor penalty. Don't tell me we're going to have to like actually scrounge for copper to make this happen. Like, you got enough, right? You got enough? Insufficient resources? You don't have enough, huh? Um, I'd really like this to be done ASAP, Schrader, but I don't think it's going to happen. I know it's definitely not going to get done tonight. So the way that I'm going to choose to get copper is I'm going to build a weird little tunnel through here. There's a lot of sand, and there's a lot of sandstone, so, like, relatively easy to mine. It's not like we're going through raw metal 100%. This also allows us to tile this area up, which is really nice, but, um, yeah, we're gonna need some copper. Copper seems to be, I mean, there's a ton of it here, there's a ton of it there, but it, it seems like it's gonna be a little bit of a sore spot for us early here, and essentially, so be it. Alright, um, I know we require wash basins, that's okay. Germs, it's getting a little germy. No doubt about that. It's getting unbreathable up here, so uh, we probably want to build oxygen-related buildings right off the bat. We do need... We do need electricity for that, which means we need metal. And then it converts algae into oxygen, right? Yes, okay. It's going to take us a, a little while to get there, and it's going to be annoying in the interim period, but so be it. Right, we, we dug straight into a sand vein. Really, I'm happy you're using the toilet, don't get me wrong. Um, there's a wash basin is in medicine, that's right. We could have built that earlier. We'll just stick that right here. Actually at a priority nine. It might seem a little bit shaky right now, and and to be honest with you, it might be a little bit shaky right now. But I got uh, I got high hopes that we're making good things happen here. We're pro we know what we need to prioritize, even if we're doing it a little wonkily right now, of the Willy Wonka variety. I was gonna say of the Willy variety, but I thought that that might come across wrong. All right, good stuff. Now we got much more copper. So I'm gonna say step one. We're gonna put an algae deoxidizer. I've learned a great lesson about putting our algae, uh, or putting anything, really, one tile away from the door. And now we can start making mush loaf if we want. You got more copper, get that algae deodorizer pump in here. And then we gotta get it set up for power. We also know where our grid is now, which is a, uh, is a blessing at our present moment. I also think, even though it looks a little bit messy, grab all this. Is this just vacuum? It's carbon dioxide. I mean, it's probably not a big deal, but why make enemies right now, right? Dig out this, dig out this, dig out this, this, and this. Just give us more copper to work with for the time being. We know we're going to need more of it. 
we'll probably need to bust up through this right here. There's a lot of oxygen, but there's also a lot of carbon dioxide, which is the scary part. All right, somebody please deliver algae. Idle. Nobody's going to deliver algae to this thing, huh? Um, so we're still doing fine on, uh, on edible... Kilocalories, if you will. I am worried that our oxygen is going to get generated and like some of it's just going to percolate out here. But I don't really want to close this off yet. We can make a pneumatic door, but again, what do we care about making a pneumatic door, more or less? Uh, well, let's think about what our next priority would be. I think our next priority would be building a research area. Because a research area is going to be a place where people are going to spend a lot of time. Is this coal? It is coal. Um, I think that we, we want it to be relatively high up. And we're going to refactor this area at a later date for certain. Two tile high. But for now, we're going to build it up like this. Because we need farming. We need manual airlocks. That's going to make our base much easier to run. Uh, I, I think we may have to issue a manual dig order right here. And this thing's pumping, thankfully. I just don't want to accidentally make too many uh, algae deoxidizers. Just in case, you know what I mean? Just in case we uh, it turns out we don't need it. And, I mean, this should probably be tiled right off the bat instead of just looking like trash. Uh, and it's not even going to be large enough. I was just going to say, we're going to need to get some more freaking copper, aren't we? There's just so much CO2 up there that... I'm not highly against it, but I'm, like, a little against it, so... I'll tell you what, it, it does lead to expansion later, so... Um, as much as this scares me, it does also open up a decent amount of copper for us. It's going to dump a lot of carbon dioxide into the base. But if it dumps enough, it might actually lead to some oxygen uh, depositing right here. But I, now that I think about it, I, I don't think that that makes any sense at all. Um, but once the, the dust sort of settles... Oh, you know what happened? I accidentally cut myself off from all that copper we mined. New duplicates are available. Right, so we're not taking other duplicates for now. And and we may never. Apparently it's it's not the proper way to handle it. We're close to uh, equilibrium here for oxygen generation, which is nice. Can we now build a research station really quickly? Yes, we can. Again, I'm going to choose not to worry about uh, about decor that much. Although, if we're going to... We should take the time to build one extra tile away in order to get that done. You got like 500 kilos of copper. 150... Oh, because it's not in storage yet. Just get the, get the research station done before today and I'll be happy. Still got 23,000 kilocalories, so I'm not worried about making mush loaf just yet. Are things breathable on the top floor? Ah, uh, it's a little dicey. Um, research. Do me a favor and research. Um, first thing first. I mean, power regulation maybe, but I'm thinking basic farming. That way we can have an algae terrarium which eats uh, carbon dioxide, which seems like it's going to be very relevant. Because, I mean, it's... <sighs> We're so close to equilibrium with our oxygen, but I, I think if you guys make it through tonight, you're going to be a lot happier. I think tonight's going to be a bad night for you guys, I'm just going to level with you. But I think if you can make it through tonight, you're going to be a lot happier. But yeah, I'll, I'll level with you. The oxygen... Uh is in kind of a dire s spot right here. There's breathable spots, and it's real breathable right here. Um, 
I don't, I just really, really, really do not want to make a second algae deoxidizer. We could always, we, I mean, we even generated more oxygen today, despite the fact that we also cracked into this vein of sadness, but, um... We really, the problem is that we have the, essentially a balloon up here that's being inflated with oxygen and slowly pushing carbon dioxide down. But the idea is, we don't want to overcorrect for the fact that things are bad right now, if they're going to get corrected anyway. So I'm going to be very upset about the fact that uh, I, I had to wake up from the middle of my sleep to get some extra oxygen, I suppose. You know what we need, and I'm glad I discovered this relatively quickly, is we need to make another uh, storage compactor. And we'll put it just right here. And really today, if you could give me a priority 9 sweep on everything that's on the ground. That would make me feel pretty good. Because I think today is a day uh, where, where they're going to throw it back to you, of course. And by now I should have somehow realized what you had to do. I think today is going to be a uh, an easy day. We have sufficient oxygen generation. It's definitely not getting everywhere we would like it to go. In fact, it's depositing up here predominantly. Um, so we could like tile this off, but then it's gonna make it so much harder for us to get up there and grab materials as we need them. And, and we essentially need them like all the time. But you know what? If we're not doing anything else for the time being, sandstone is extremely cheap. So we'll just make like a little cap right here um, that should prevent all the oxygen being generated right here from just immediately leaking out. And remember, this oxygen that's up here right now is not lost. It's just, uh, it's up here. So hopefully we can recapture it again at some point and uh, that would be an improvement. Eventually someone's going to have to cook. I don't think that day needs to be today. Alright, so now that that's done, I expect this to get oxygen rich, but we've, we've kind of closed off our base. And this is, we're doing this instead of having manual airlocks, basically. Um, and we'll do a little bit of, of cleanup as well, like... These should be tiled. This should be tiled. It's, it might disrupt research temporarily, but so be it. This should be tiled. And this should be tiled. Even though we're pro- Kate's just not doing anything right now, basically. So even though we're probably, uh... Oh, and she's gonna sweep, actually, after this. Even though we're probably gonna end up having to rework this, I think this is fine for now. We got a nice little semi-sufficient base. I'm happy with the way that it's going right now. Uh, basic farming, probably not gonna get done in this episode, but something for us to work on in the future. And what does basic farming give us? It gives us a planter box, right? And a ration box. So the next step beyond that is, uh, and we should probably get this done quickly, and I think we will be able to because it looks like we've got two duplicates that are not going to be doing a whole heck of a lot here. So I'm actually going to reprioritize. We'll make these sixes just a little bit above normal duty. And then at a priority nine, and just to keep a little bit of base symmetry, I can't remember if that's CO2 or not. Um, either way, we're going to dig out a lot of space down here. And we're going to start to make our uh, our crops, our greenhouse, essentially. I know how to fetch a pail of water. What I don't know is how to empty a pail of water after it's been fetched. But as long as nobody urinates on the ground, we should be okay. Okay, there's another hatch. You can attack this guy ASAP, please. It's also free calories. I'm sorry, alien life form. But you've created a situation in which I had no choice. So you can mine four tile wide. Four tile tall, I should say. Um, and we're going to get a little bit of copper out of this. Is our research done, or did we just... I think we just got new... We got enough copper to build something. That's what it is. So, as is, uh, you know, a surprise to nobody at all, we are running into power problems again. But that's, in my opinion, like, highly to be expected, given the circumstances. 
It looks fairly breathable up here again, which is really nice. Can we really just, like, there's no chance of us getting there? I've got faith. If you just point your gun high enough, you're going to get there. And I think this is a relatively good, modest uh, place for us to be after our first day of recording here. We got three duplicates working hard, not hardly working. Base is tiled up. We got power. We have enough oxygen generation. And we've slowly started to kind of... We, we found some problems early on in our system, and they're getting worked out. Look at that. Okay, so I think that's pretty good for now. Thanks for watching. I hope you guys have enjoyed our reboot here. I hope you're not too uh, sore that we restarted. I think it's a positive decision for us overall. For now, thanks for watching, as it is the, the soft reboot of a series. If you enjoyed the episode, click the like button. It helps out on an enormous deal. And, of course, subscribe if you want to see more in the future. For now, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.